G'day mate, <laughs> done a bit of clean up, decided to um, pull apart my stun saw, the big block, and I thought I'd show what I found. Um, just when you think your saw is running good, because it was, I was happy, it pulled like crazy. Um, had very talky matter, um, I thought I'd show you what I found. So, my plan is to put a um, MS um, 380 um, piston out of the Neurotech. Um, saw that I've got left over. So it's lighter, it fits, um, but I thought, you know, pull things apart, get cleaned up. This is what I found, which I'm not happy about. But we learn. Learn from our mistakes, I hope. Right. Now, what's happened is the, um, the gadget pin clip, all the wrist pin click for your yanks it's fallen out of the um, piston and it's scratched the crap out of the ball so no good at picking that up so it's dug into the cylinder quite a bit so it ran good that beast compression so if I had to keep them going I don't know how many more tanks of fuel but it would let go so Luckily, um, I've got a brand new cylinder here. Hasn't been poured, it's a Pharmatech cylinder. This cylinder here was some other um, Yang Chok number. I don't know what it was. The quality was not good at all. So, I imagine in some ways I'm happy. The Pharmatech one, most Pharmatech stuff's pretty good. I've come across a few issues. I had one with a, a bent bore for a um, still um, MS660. Um, you put the piston in, the piston wouldn't go down probably. But, um, gonna put this in. Um, now the problem with this will, cylinder will be, but I think I'll be able to get away with it. The pin, okay, so the, ring, the rings, pins. So you got, you got these little pins. So, got still one. So the house fire, the pins are on over the intake, so they're actually going over this. So the rings hold in. So going by that, because it's a big hole, which is this. So he's got the pins. One there, and one there. So, my problem is, is the intake side. This is where the pins will roll down. So they come down here on the very edge of this opening for the upper transfer. But I'm not, I'm not exactly too worried. I am cautious, but you gotta try experimenting things. The ring is supported by this post, so it'll come down into the stroke. So. It, once it comes in, I'll be bottom dead center. So it's not moving, there's no real centrifugal force throwing like most of the time the piston's doing this because it's going up and down, but the forces are going like this because the crankshaft's spinning and all this crap. So I've put the rings in the piston and tried by hand, nothing catches. Going by the original piston, the, the pin's actually in the center basically, there and there. So I don't think I'll have a problem, but yeah, finding that, that clip missing, I've gone for the muffler, um, can't find it, so it must have pulled out, shut up, gone for the cylinder, um, leave marks in here. There's one mark there, so yeah, it's shot out to the, um, There go, there you go. There's a bit of a mark. See that little mark there? Just there. So that the clip, clip's fallen out, gone through, um, I'd say the transfer chamber, gone out for the top, and made its way out, but yeah. 
My wife's always saying, don't put things apart, stop playing. Well, sometimes you play, you find bad things, but I've saved the saw, so there's nothing wrong. I've had a look inside the sump of the saw, there's no marks, everything rolls over nice and neat. So now it's time to clean, clean, clean. Put it back together and put it in the wood and see how it goes, but yeah, MS380 over um, 372 XP. Be interested to see how this goes. So, what's my plans? Um, my plans, my plans. Now, because there's a window piston, but there's windows. Because the windows and the house phone doesn't have windows, which will give me some effects but also cause problems, but I don't know. Tim Man's been working on a, um, a CS5. Um, 90, which got me thinking. I done to my solo 680. Um, I cut out part of this um, wall here and finger pointed it off, so open point, but open port, but I call them finger point. So I'm going to cut this piece here out um, down quite a bit. So when the piston is um, bottom dead centre, I cut to there. I'll probably do a small one in the front. Trying to get these um, equal, that's going to be the hard part, so I'll have to make a template up and make it down with um, black marker texture or something and follow that marker. But trying to balance everything up and get dead right, that's going to be the hard part to get the airflow the same, but it'd be interesting. So I'm looking forward to this. So if you look at the piston that was in, the airflow wasn't that 100%. It was close, but what's this thing here in the front? I've got no idea. So, it must have been, I would say, the lips on similar. So, those lips there, they correspond with that fronting mark. So, air's coming out um, the transfer chamber, hitting this and doing an eddy and spinning. But it's going back towards um, the exhaust. So, you know, things are happening inside the cylinder like you wouldn't believe so fast. The most minute changes changes the sound of the change the characteristics of the motor. So, it's well like playing with source. Alright guys, I'll keep you up to date.